Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Apple Skin Mod in Minecraft 1.17.1. This mod has been downloaded 77.3 million times and... Well, we've not really done many dedicated tutorials for it, so that's our failing there, and I apologize for it. So, what is this mod, if you don't know? Well, it adds, basically, additional information and cool things about food in Minecraft, and how food relates to your health and to your hunger in Minecraft. So, as you can see, it adds in value information to tooltips, so when you hover over something, it's going to show you how many, you know, chicken nuggets, if you will, here it's going to fill up, and how much saturation it adds, as well as, you know, visualization of the saturation food gives you, and then how many, you know, basically hunger and saturation will be restored when you're using that. It can even restore, like show you how much health will be restored from the food. So really, really cool stuff. One of the coolest, like simple food mods that I've seen. And today we're going to be installing it. But first one of us, we do have Mesmar sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. So your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love it just Apex so much that we host our own server, play it at breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, though, let's Go ahead and get Apple Skin installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Apple Skin download page. And then you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.17 section there. Under that, you'll see Apple Skin Forge. That's what we want to download. We want to download the Apple Skin Forge version. And then go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. And after a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, depending on your browser, you're going to need to keep or save this file. We're on Google Chrome here, so we will keep it in the bottom left, right like so. On Mozilla Firefox, you will save it in the screen of your screen. Now, there's one more thing we need to download here, and that, of course, is Forge. Apple Skin Forge is what we downloaded, so we do need Forge for this to work. Luckily, we do have a link at the third link down below, and we'll take you here. This is our text tutorial for Forge. If, you know, we don't cover every single potential thing that could go wrong with Forge, normally nothing does, but if something does go wrong, that's what this tutorial is for. But once you're here, go ahead and click on this green Download Forge button. That will take you to Forge's official download page, where you want to make sure MC1.17.1 is selected. As you can see, here it is. If it's not, come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.17 and then click on 1.17.1 then come under download latest here and click on installer that's thing going to take us off to add focus we're stop don't click anything on this page i said stop what are you doing stop pants in the air don't click anything on this page except the red skip button that's going to appear after about 10 seconds in 10 seconds a red skip button will appear in the top right exactly like this one up here when you click on that forge is going to download in the bottom left now in the bottom left, we can see here it says Forge 1.17.1. That means we're going to keep it. If it doesn't say Forge, click Discard, but it should say Forge because you only click the red skip button, right? So Forge in the bottom left, 1.17.1. We're going to go ahead and click Keep. Another thing I will say, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll be in the center of your screen. It'll pop up, and as long as it has Forge in the title, you're safe to save it. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we are going to have Apple Skin and Forge. Now if these are on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon on the top of bottom left of your screen. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here, and in here, you will have Apple Skin and Forge. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and start off by getting Forge installed. Now, these logos might be different. Your file icons here, it might be a WinRAR file, it might be a zip file, and if that's the case, just keep watching. We're going to show you how to fix that, but first, let's see if you need Java at all. So let's go ahead and right-click on Forge. So right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then if you have Java here, go ahead and click on it and click OK. However, if you don't have Java here, or if you do and you click OK and it doesn't work, or if your files are wrong, they look like, you know, like I said, WinRAR files, zip files, something other than these Java logos, what do you do? Well, in that case, you need to go and run this. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Apple skins and Minecraft mods, so this is the version of Java that you need. This goes through kind of everything in depth on how to download and install Java for Minecraft. It is giving a specific version for 1.17.1 though, so make sure that you know that. Make sure that you might have installed Java in the past, this is a new version, so come here, go through this tutorial, and you'll be good to go. However, some of you, if your files are wrong, for example, may still need to run the jar fix. If your file icons are different, you will need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them all work happily together. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We again want to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and if you didn't have Java before, you'll have it now. Click on Java and click OK. That's then going to open up the Forge Mod System Installer, where you just want to click on Install Client and click OK. Now, now Forge is going to install, it's going to download, it's going to do its thing, link things together, make things work, and eventually it's going to say that Forge has been successfully installed. So as you can see here, boom, finished, successfully installed, client profile Forge version 1.17.1. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. That's going to close out of the mod system install for Forge, and then we have Apple Skin to install. To do this, you want to go ahead.
ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, just the normal default Minecraft launcher here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that Forge is selected. Now, if you can see down here in the bottom left next to the play button, mine is selected. If yours isn't, go ahead and click on this and then click on Forge here and then you'll be good to go. You can hit play, hit play again and Minecraft will open. But if you don't have Forge here or if it doesn't say 1.17.1 Forge under Forge, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to come up here to this installations tab at the top of Minecraft and go ahead and click on that. Then you want to come over here to the right hand side where you see this modded checkbox. You want to go ahead and click at that modded checkbox. As you can see, Forge now appears. Click play, click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge or if that version under Forge doesn't say 1.17.1, what you want to do is click on this new installation button. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. If you want the best Minecraft survival server out there, come play on play.breakdowncraft.com. It's absolutely incredible. You will love it. If you've played Breakdowncraft in the past, come back, play Breakdowncraft again. It has had a lot of updates recently, and you will love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Over 150 players online every single day. Now let's go ahead and click on this version's drop down box here. When we click on that, we want to go ahead and select 1.17.1. 1-Forge. Now, if you have multiple ones like I do, click the one closest to the top. You might, may, however, have to scroll down to find yours. Mine is right up here at the top. Boom, there we go. Now, we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this because I want you to be able to see once we get in-game. Most importantly for you, though, you just want to make sure that it says release 1.17.1-Forge here. Then click the green Create button in the bottom right, and now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it says 1.17.1-Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green Play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and you know that, and you're all good, which you do, and then go ahead and click Play again. When you click Play, Minecraft 1.17.1 will open up, and it's very simple to install Apple Skin from this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu to get Apple Skin installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now we can go ahead and click on this Mods tab on the main menu here, then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, that was click on the Mods tab, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up your Mods folder here, and then all you need to do to install Apple Skin in Minecraft 1.17.1 is take the Apple Skin from your desktop, this file here, and drag and drop it into your Mods folder. It's that simple. Now, come back to Minecraft. That's not here. And it's never going to be here until you click Done and then Quit Minecraft. Then you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. This is the normal default Minecraft launcher here. And then in here, you want to make sure again that your play.breakdowncraft.com or your Forge profile is selected, whichever one has 1.17.1-Forge under it. Then click the green play button. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with the Apple skin mod installed. Again, we will do one more fast jump cut and I'll meet you on the main menu to show off Apple skin in game. So here we are back in Minecraft. If we click on our mods tab, we can see Apple skin on the left hand side showing that the mod is loaded. Now we can go ahead and jump into a single player server here and uh, basically show off, uh, show off this mod. So one more fast last jump cut of the video. I will see you in game to get some food and yeah, I'm also going to run my, my my hunger down. By the way, just just want to run this live if you do see that. See, boom, that went away. That little spinning thing. Look, it was going to crash. It wasn't. It just had to wait it out. So anyway, I will see you after a quick jump cut to uh, showcase this mod. All right, so here we are. We are in game. I've ran my health a little lower, ran my food a, a little lower, and I've got some food in our inventory here. So as we can see, all of this is happening down here, and it is rather subtle, but I think it should show up. Actually, let me just go ahead and transition in game really fast. So as we transition in game here, you'll be able to see it much more clearer down here. You can see this flashing. That is showing how much food this is going to add in. So if we eat this, it'll give us three food there, as well as the saturation and how much saturation we're going to get, which is about to this sort of part on the food bar. If we go over to bread, you'll see that that is different. It's going to give us a different amount. We go over to the carrot, it's going to give us a different amount. We go over to the steak, it's going to give us a lot more. Go over to the apple, it's going to give us a lot less. For example, we go ahead and eat one of these. We'll see, there it goes. The saturation has went up on the food a little bit. But if we eat something like a steak, it's going to go up significantly more. As you can see, the saturation is now all the way up to there, dropping a bit as our health is regenerating. But I'll do this again as a proof of concept. Once our health drops, we'll be able to, uh, you know, there we go. <laughs> our health food should be dropping as our health is increasing. And then once it does that, we'll do this one more time just to show you that the saturation can go up so much. So I'm going to let that generate as much as it can without us eating. And then I'm going to eat and just show you how much it's going to go. So 
wait for it. And as you can actually even see, if we eat this steak, it's saying, hey, your health is gonna go up all the way if you eat that. So let's go ahead and eat it and boom, our health's not gonna go up all the way. Our saturation just dropped to right there and that'll slowly drop over time. So yeah, that's how you can see your hunger saturation in Minecraft using the Apple Skin mod. This is a very, very simple mod, but one that I would recommend using if you you know, are PVPing and stuff like that. It can be a great little PVP assist mod. And overall, just a great, great mod for you to have. So nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'm out. Peace.